I've recently introduced facial rejuvenation at Lawton Dental Care following training at the Dr. Bob Carner Facial Aesthetic Institute. I think the linking facial aesthetics and dentistry together is a natural um, progression. Dentistry um, is all about the person as a whole and confidence about your appearance is, is very important to everyone at every, any age. Um, dentists regularly give injections, they give them on a daily basis and their not knowledge of anatomy is very detailed and I think this is really important when thinking about line smoothing treatments. Um, most of us want to um, look naturally our best, we don't want to look as if we have had work done and this is my approach, I think that looking at the person as an individual and tailoring treatment to each person depending on their requirements is important and that requires very careful assessment of each patient. Many people have had concerns about the use of botulinum toxin in um, facial aesthetics but the safety record is extremely good and the crossover from medicine to facial aesthetics only really happened when and line smoothing was noted as a side effect of treatment for medical um, reasons. Um, I use a very well recognised form of the protein called Azulor which works to relax um, the lines. This tends to work best for people that have lines during movement but it does take it does work for people that have established lines at rest although this can take a little bit longer. Azulor works best in the top half of the face where it's used to correct frown lines, wrinkling of the forehead and crow's feet. It has to be used with some caution in the bottom half of the face and often in combina combination with fillers to get optimum results because it's very important that you look at the natural um, functions of the mouth, smiling, talking, eating and these mustn't be interfered with when you are treating um, the mouth. Um, I'm very happy and very excited to be introducing facial rejuvenation at Lords and Dental Care. I think it really ties in well with dentistry um, and I'm looking forward to treating uh, many of my patients. Um, I'm now going to show you a video of me treating a patient and I'll welcome any questions at the end. Thank you. look at some Botox treatment for you and um, we're going to look at smoothing some lines around your eyes and um, which is where you mentioned that you were keen to have some treatment and um, I thought it might be a good idea as well to maybe have a little look at the frown lines between your eyes and um, which will just lift your face a little bit too. Good, good, um, yeah. So what I thought we might do, I know you've had a look at the consent forms and we've gone through your medical history etc. What I thought we might do is we might mark up some areas on your face to treat I tend to start off more conservatively rather than doing a lot because Botox will not, um, you cannot reverse it, you will have to allow it to wear off a little bit so it's always better to start more conservatively and then you can always do a little bit more. So I usually arrange to see you again in about two weeks time, see how things are going, take some more photos, I know we've taken some today and then we can go from there and if you want a little bit more lift then we can then work from that. Is that alright? Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's great. so what I thought we'd do, I've got your hair back <coughs> on your face, I know you've washed your face and you've got no makeup on your face. We usually wipe around with a wipe just mm -hmm. to make sure there's no, you know, sort of oil on the face, etc. And then I'm just going to get you to squeeze some muscle groups and we're going to mark on some areas, okay, so that we can treat you very safely. The idea is, is that we avoid any vessels, that we treat very carefully around the eye because it's very important around the eye to avoid any of the protein getting too close to the eye because it can affect the muscles that move the eye and that's very important. So what I will do is feel carefully for some bony points and make some marks on your face and then we can work around the marks and, and start to, to um, put the protein around these areas very carefully for you. Okay, okay yeah, that's right. good. Do you with yeah. that? Face and actually mark some muscles where we're going to work. What I'm going to ask you to do first of all is to frown for me. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark some points here. These, this is, these two muscles here are called the corrugators and the centre here we have a muscle called the procerus and these muscles frown, okay, and they bring the eyebrows down. And what we're going to do is we're going to smooth these, these areas here and that will res result in a sort of lifting up of this area. So to start with, I'm going to mark some areas here. We mark from the nose to the corner of the eye and then we feel here where the bony area is here of the orbit. And we look at marking a centimetre above that 
which I would say with Eve is here. Okay, and that's where we're going to put one of our injections. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to mark again from the nose, the inner aspect of the eye. We're going to feel this little bony area here. And we're going to go slightly above it here. And this is a safety feature because we've got some vessels that run here and we want to avoid those. We then look at the area between the eye where this muscle called the procerus works. Again, what you found for me? I'm just going to pop a dot here between the eyes and then go up about a centimetre again to this area here. Okay, if you wanted to work on a very sort of smooth look here, you could act, add an extra injection here, but as it's the first time you've had some treatment, I'm going to leave it at these four areas to start with. Okay. So then going to look at the eyes, okay, the, the eyes, there is a muscle that goes around the eyes called the orbicularis oris and it's a very, it's a circular muscle and when we get lines developing in this muscle, they tend to work, they tend to radiate outwards. So what we're going to do here is we're going to measure from the nose again and we're going to measure from the intracupillary line, I'm going to get Eve to look at me, that's it, and then I'm going to measure from the outer canthus here, so I'm going to make a mark there. And we're going to feel the eye again and we're going to go a centimetre out here. And I'm going to mark that as my first point, okay? And then we're going to go a centimetre down. We're going to have a clear area here around the eye for safety reasons again. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, and we're going to put a smaller amount just here. Okay, and that will treat these muscles quite nice. I'm going to go slightly out with that one. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to go again from the nose, sorry, I'm going to go over here, we're going to feel for the orbit here. And again, we're going to go a centimetre out from the orbit. Okay, and then we're going to go again, keeping a centimetre clear of the eye. One, two, and a smaller one there. Okay, one of the things I think is very important is to always inject away from the eye. So you're actually moving any protein away from the eye so it's not allowed to come too close to the eye so it doesn't affect it. Okay. Right, now we've finished your treatment, yeah. how did it go? Yeah, very good, enjoyed it. You can't actually see anything see on your face, any no, evidence on no. your face. Um, it's quite important for today just to avoid any too excessive exercise. Mm -hmm. Rubbing, you don't, want to be, you don't want to be rubbing around your eyes because you don't want to get the protein into your eyes. You want to try and, when you, when you shower tonight, just pat very gently around your face, don't rub. You can avoid makeup today, it's always a good mm -hmm. idea as long as you're 
don't have any objection to that. Right. Um, we suggest you, you avoid hot baths and saunas, okay, just for a day or so, just to allow things to settle. Um, that's pretty much most of the advice, really. Um, I think the main thing is, is it takes a few days to work, so don't expect to see anything instantly. Okay, it will take a few days to work, but it can take up to a week to two weeks, which is why we like to see you again in about two weeks' time to see how things are going, really, and to have a little look, take some photos, compare your photos. You will see a gentle softening. Sometimes with lines that are, are visible at rest, that can take a few um, treatments to actually notice change. Um, but if you, it's always easier to do a little bit more than to do less. Mm -hmm. So we've erred on the cautious side today. Um, when I had the treatment done around my eye, I, it took a few days before I actually saw that I couldn't frown as much and that my frown lines had disappeared. And it's a gradual sort of thing more than anything else. Um, so it will it will happen, but you know it sort of tends to take a little bit of time. Great. I'll make you an appointment to see you in a couple of weeks, and then we can um, go Maybe. from there. We review and reevaluate things. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You've Thank done you. really well today. Thank you. It wasn't, um, yes, it's been a nice experience. Good. <laughs>Good afternoon, Evelyn. Good How afternoon. are you doing? Yeah, very good, thank you. We've got you back for a, a quick consultation, really, just to see how your treatment went and if okay. you're happy with the results. Yeah, very happy. Have you noticed much difference? Uh, I have, actually, quite a lot. Good, I can see quite a lot yeah. of lifting yes. round your eyes uh, and this forehead the forehead region. Yes, yes, I'm very pleased. All right, well, that's great then. Yes, so, yes. Um, you've been pleased with your experience and have, you're glad you uh, didn't experience any untoward effects, so that was good. Excellent. Good. Yeah. So, uh, can't wait to have some more done. <laughs> <laughs>